Hey there, welcome back. Uh, this is Rishabh and I'm excited to have you with me on video number three. And uh, uh, we discussed some interesting things in the previous videos. If you have landed uh, directly on this video, it would be great if you can if you can visit the previous videos as well. That can be very helpful for you. Okay, awesome. Uh, this is video number three and in this video, we are going to talk about uh, interesting aspect and that is input and output. So uh, when, I, when I read about computers a long time back, I would say many years ago, one of the first things which I learned was that computer is nothing but, uh, it's like input, output and processing, which means that you have to take in some input from the user or maybe from some other sources, which we are going to talk about. And then you have to process that input, you have to perform some operation on uh, whatever input you have taken, right? And then you have to present some results, right? So this is uh, what a computer system is uh, basically uh, at the core, right? Now Python basically, uh, Python allows us to read input, then process the data and then present the results, right? What could be the different input sources? Let's discuss briefly about them. Well, a uh, user can give the input via terminal. So I think uh, it should actually be via keyboard. Cool. So user can type in something in the keyboard that can be taken as the input. Then uh, there can be a file on the disk, uh, which our program can read and uh, that is where the input can come from. Similarly, we can read something from a network, uh, just like uh, all the input at, uh, is basically given on the internet uh, wherein we are interacting with a lot of websites. Then we can read from an API. We will talk about what exactly an API is in a future video. Then we can read uh, a lot of different sensors are available these days. You must have heard the term Internet of Things or Internet of Everything, uh, which means that uh, uh, a lot of physical devices have sensors connected to them, whether you talk about automobiles, uh, whether you talk about wearables, whether you talk about smart air conditioning or smart refrigerators, all of them are emitting a lot of data and all that data has to be read by somebody and Python is capable of reading all that data, right? Now again, getting data from a database. And similarly, there are different output syncs as well. Like you can send the, you can display the output on the terminal, you can, you can send it to a file or you can call some API whenever you have to send the output. And then you can send the output to a database or maybe to the browser in case of, uh, let's say, web applications. So in this way, uh, data can come from various sources and data can, uh, like the output can go to various sources, right? Or sinks to be more precise. Then uh, like this is, this is where like your Python program has to be, you know, it, it's sitting in between taking in the input, reading in the input, doing some processing, performing some operations on that uh, input, uh, generating the output and then sending it to uh, wherever that destination is, right? Now in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to read some input using the input command, which is offered by Python. So uh, if I have to be more precise, input is basically a function in Python. Python provides us with a lot of different functions. Uh, the reason why I'm not using this terminology right now is because we haven't discussed functions yet. So uh, this is a function, but you can think of it as a command, which we have to write whenever we want to read some input from the user, right? And then we can perform some operation like uh, here. So for example, greeting the user, saying hello to the user, right? And then displaying the output to the terminal that is done using the print function or the print command. Uh, <clears throat> I will discuss more about functions in some upcoming video and but yeah till then maybe we can think of it as a command which we have to write in order to perform a specific operation. So here we are talking about reading in the input and then sending the output doing something with the input in between right. So these are the three steps let's see how we have to do this in the python language. So let me go ahead and create a new file let's just create a new file call it greeting.py and so the first step was read input from the user by the way let me mention that whenever we use hash in front of a line it means a comment in python comments are helpful for readability they are basically used to tell 
uh, what exactly you intend to do so for example here I am just trying to read let's say read uh, name as input to make it more specific read name as input from the user so we will say that user name equals input and we can write please enter your name this is what the user will see uh, when we execute this program on on the terminal now let me add a slash in here uh, slash in means a line break which means after this uh, the control will move to the next line right this is done now i have username uh, because we have discussed different data types uh, it's easy to understand here that input function will return me a string like a string will be stored in the username whenever you are going to ask a user uh, for input like whenever the input is coming uh, from user through keyboard uh, it's always going to be a string so even if you will ask for some something like age for example even if the user is entering 24 even that will come as a string and uh, I will talk about how exactly you have to convert that into an integer we will talk about that in an upcoming video but here as you can see that username is input and then you type in whatever you want to display there now let's do some processing here uh, let me create a new variable called as greeting and here we are going to write uh, f so f is basically for formatting strings in python and here I'm going to write uh, so let's write hey uh, and then write username uh, and then let's put a comma good to see you in python words cool so as you can see we are using the variable name username here so whatever the user enters as the name uh, that is the name which we are going to use and we are going to generate a greeting right now that we have generated the greeting the next step is to basically display the greeting to the user cool so uh, let's do that with the print function whenever we have to display something on the screen print is the function which we have to use and we can pass in the greeting let me just save this let me save this as well and yeah so now our script is ready uh, as you can see uh, we just have to use three lines of code so this is one of the advantages of python so like uh, you can express uh, bigger ideas by using a uh, few lines of code whereas in some other languages it may take you more lines of code and that is what uh, makes python very easy to write very developer friendly so now as i mentioned that i'll have to be in the same directory where my file is so i'll say I'll just go to video 3 and now I can see that I do have my greeting.py file let me just write python and then greeting.py let me hit enter now as we can see please enter your name is displayed on the screen please enter your name this is the same thing right then the slash n which means that I have to go to the new line if I won't use the slash n here it will stay in the same line only right so that is what the line break basically means now greeting uh, well hey usernames now i have to enter something so i'm going to uh, add reserve io right now when i hit enter the control will move to this line because username has already been captured then the greeting will be generated and then uh, that greeting will be printed to the screen so let's do that let me just hit enter cool now as you can see hey reserve io good to see you in Python words. So this is what we wanted to print and this is how you read the input from the user. So I hope you understood this. Uh, feel free to comment if there is anything which was not clear to you and uh, I, I will definitely revert back. You can always reach out to me and uh, yeah I, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.